Welcome to the first video in uh, the Chapter 5 series for Math 120. Uh, we're going to be talking about probability. In this particular chapter, we're going to hit a few key concepts in the videos, um, but it is going to require some real practice on your part to be looking at. There's so many different examples that you're really going to need to see that no matter how long this video is, you'd never be able to see everything. So we're going to hit the big probability rules and theories and then you are going to need to do the homework, do lots of practice, do all the examples in the online lesson link below underneath um, this video on YouTube and so just be sure to look at lots of practice it really there's no other way to get comfortable um, on this particular content. So let's jump right into it here the first uh, first section here 5.1 um, we're going to talk about some rules of probability um, how to compute and uh, interpret probabilities with a variety of methods uh, and then I don't know if we'll talk about subjective probabilities that's on the the outline here but I think that's more in the online lesson so um, when we talk about probability here we have a, a definition of probability and it is there's nothing new here. This is basically what you see it as. It's just the likelihood that something is occurring. Um, the definition here of if, if we have an event that happens over time, a probability is really just over time, what is the long term average, the long time proportion that that event uh, will occur? So let me get back in here. Um, so I left these blank. I thought it might be good for you to kind of write these in your own words. We have a, a probability experiment. That's just something that we're going to do and we're not sure what's going to happen. So like rolling a die can be a probability experiment. Uh, it can be repeated and the results are uncertain. We don't know what's going to happen. So the sample space, we use capital letter S for that, it's the s of all possible outcomes. The sample space is the set of all possible outcomes. A single single outcome from the sample space. It's a single thing that, that could happen in this, this probability experiment. So there's two ways to calculate that probability. One is a theoretical, just counting how many ways can something occur over the total number of possibilities. That's the sample space. Uh, the other is the empirical method. Just count. Do it a thousand times and count how many times it happened and divide by the total number of trials. Like, for example, we could look at what is the probability that a randomly selected student uh, will get an A in this class? There's no theory behind that. I can't do that theoretically, but I can do it empirically. I could look at past data um, of, you know, the last three years and calculate the number of A's divided by the number of students that were enrolled as of, you know, some arbitrary date, say, like a common one is to say the 10th day. Um, that way the, the ones that change sections or decide to drop out the first week or something don't count as official students, but you would get the empirical method, the approximate uh, relative frequency of that event. Um, an interesting way to think about this is this law of large numbers. So looking at the definition of that probability, it's the long-term proportion. So one way to look at this is, okay, if I roll um, a die, and I look at that, it could be any one, two, three, four, five, or six. And if I average over time, in the long run, I should expect what the theoretical probability is. So you can see here, see if I can get my mouse highlighted here. You can see here that maybe the first one was a five, and then the second one was a two, so the average was down here. And then the average kind of jumped and jumped, but eventually in the long run, by this law of large numbers, eventually you will, I've heard this phrase, you'll regress to the mean, the 3.5. You might be above it at some point, below it at some point, but in the long run, your long-term average is going to be 3.5, and, and that's the law of large numbers. Uh, so the idea here for the law of large numbers is that in the long run, the relative frequency, the empirical relative frequency from looking at it will equal the probability. All right, uh, I think that is it for 5.1. You've got a lot of different homework questions, uh, some more examples in the online lessons, again, in the link below. Um, but those are some of the basic ideas.